Hey, what is going on, Ecom Dominators? Cynthia here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a email opt-in trick to help you increase your sales. And if you're interested in how to increase sales, increase conversions inside of your Shopify store, then keep on watching, guys. All right, guys, if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Cynthia. This channel is all about how to build your own print-on-demand t-shirt store, whether you are a beginner or you are an advanced Shopify seller. And if you are a newbie to my channel and you're interested in getting a free training, just go ahead and go to build.tbootcamp.com. Go ahead and register for that free training where I go from beginning to end showing you how you can create a Shopify store from scratch, upload your first design, and run your first ad campaign all under 60 minutes. It's super short and it won't take up a lot of your time. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so before I talk a little bit about how you can implement this neat trick to help you get more email addresses, let's talk about why it is important to build a list. We always say, you know, build an email list, build an email list. We always say that, but most of the times the emails that we get from our customers usually come from sales. But today I'm going to be showing you a quick trick that you can incentivize your customers to give you those email addresses without actually purchasing anything from you, which is super, super powerful. So don't forget to keep on watching this, okay? But first and foremost, you want to build a big email list because that email list will be your biggest asset. If say in the future you decide to sell your Shopify store, the person that wants to buy from you will ask how many uh, email addresses do you have, things like that. But even if you are not looking to sell your Shopify store, you're just looking to keep on building it, keep on building the brand, you definitely want to have a list because why pay you know, Facebook or um, Pinterest a single penny to advertise when you have already acquired that customer? Once that customer comes to your store, purchases from you, gives you their email address, you own that email address for life, meaning that you can send them new promotions, on and new products you know whatever it is just send them an email and that is free revenue coming in that's why it is so important to build that list it's very boring and it's very like people say it's oh it's overrated but not enough people do it and not enough people focus on building an email list all right guys so it's a great way to build your email list but how can you build an email list, okay? So I'm not talking about driving sales. That's for a whole different video. In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick hack that you can implement today inside your Shopify store to increase your email list to build a bigger email list than you have now. All right, guys. So first off, nobody, and I mean nobody, wakes up in the morning and wish that they want wish that they are spammed with more, more emails. I know I remember way back when in the AOL days, you know, no one gets any emails, right? But nowadays everybody gets so much emails like their emails are constantly uh, jammed with, you know, companies uh spamming them, oh, buy this, buy that, right? And why should they give you their email address? so that you could send them any more emails, right? So I'm gonna be showing you a quick hack on how you can overcome this, just keep on watching. But the solution, right, is to give them a reason to sign up with your newsletter. Letter. Okay, what is the reason? Are, how are you incentivizing your customers to give them your their emails? Now, here is the quick opt-in trick. What you're gonna do is basically, once your customers come to your store, you're going to give them a coupon code. And once they have submitted their email, okay, 
they your customers don't have to click out of your website and then go to their email to get that coupon code that coupon code will immediately pop up once they've inputted their email address now think about how powerful that is if you're if you're giving your customers more steps to purchase your products how likely are they to purchase from you okay now it's um, nowadays people find it too complicated you know why do I have to put in my email address go and dig through my email find it copy it and then go purchase right people often get very distracted people sometimes have to check their you know text messages they have to like you know maybe they're talking to a friend or they get a call whatever it is they'll get distracted and forget to purchase from you you know so this is a neat hack to kind of eliminate all those steps in between give them a coupon code get them to the checkout page to the purchase page uh, quickly and as efficiently as possible okay so I don't want to keep you guys here too long because I don't want to make this video way too long but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a quick demo right now on how this works okay guys so let's hop on over alright guys so we are here in one of my test stores and this is obviously for people that love owls uh, depending on your niche whatever it is but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna scroll down here where the people will input their email addresses now typically when people come to your store they are not likely to put in their email addresses hence this is the one section inside of your website that usually aren't earning you as much money as it should be but you can utilize your newsletter section to gain and build your email list but and how you're going to do that is basically going to give them an incentive to do that so here for an example i said that if you Put in your email address I will give you a $15 coupon on the first order and notice I said immediately so that tells the customer hey I was thinking about purchasing a t-shirt but I'm really not sure it'll be great if I have a coupon code and this is very attractive when you say you, they will get it immediately meaning they won't be have to wait till they get an email click out get the email get the coupon code come back right there's too many steps in between right so this is a great way that you can first off increase your sales because your customers aren't clicking out your website and number two build an email list so say for example um, they do give you their email but don't end up purchasing well guess what you just earn their email address just for by them coming to your store okay it's they don't even need to purchase anything from you for you to get their email this is how powerful implementing uh, this hack inside your store today so I'm gonna show you a quick example on how this works so say I am a customer coming to the store and I'm looking to buy this t-shirt up here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in my email and I'm gonna type in my email okay and I'm gonna click get coupon so once I click get coupon automatically this thing pops up here and it says my coupon code is say 15 so how amazing is it for a customer perspective that I can get the coupon code right now right then on this website to check out so I'm gonna say okay well you know I really want this t-shirt and look I get a automatically 15% off how amazing so I'm going to uh, copy this and say that this is the t-shirt that I want to purchase so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it alright so as a customer I'm gonna go ahead and add to cart and I'm going to check out alright guys so here I am on the checkout page and here it says discount code and as a customer I'm like okay I'm gonna put in my discount code I'm gonna click apply and as you can see automatically I get 15% off my order and now my total comes down to $19.55. I really want to buy this even though I was on a fence about whether or not I want this t-shirt but now I get 15%. Give me that 15%. Alright guys. So uh, also another thing I know a lot of people are going to be asking me well Cynthia um, when people are say for an example okay let's go back to the front page 
they're gonna say, Cynthia, well, what about people are going to give me a fake email address? My answer to that is who cares, okay? If even if they type in a fake email address and they get the coupon, once they go check out, they're gonna give you their real email address at the end. So regardless that they're gonna give you a fake one, if they're gonna really use that coupon and purchase from you, they're gonna end up giving you the real email address. So that really doesn't matter. It really shouldn't be that much of an issue. All right, guys. So this is a really great way that you can just um, make small changes today inside your Shopify store to build that email list. So it's, you know, when you're running traffic from Facebook, not everyone that lands on your product page will purchase from you. But if they scroll down and see your newsletter and they see that you ha you can provide them a 15% coupon on their first order, you know, how likely are they to input their email address in here, okay? And that's whether or not they're going to purchase from you or not. Say that they don't end up purchasing from you and they give you their actual email address, you can go ahead and email them your newest product. Keep on emailing them, right? So you don't have to pay Facebook, you know, any additional costs to send that email. You own that email forever, okay? I hope that everyone can see how powerful this is. And I've helped a lot of my students um, build their email list just using this quick hack. All right, guys. So let's hop on back. All right, guys. So we are back here. And I know a lot of people is going to be asking me, well, Sophia, how can I do the same? I want to do exactly what you just showed me. Well, um, it's very simple. Um, you do need to know a little bit of coding. If you are a coder, great, go ahead and do it yourself. If you're not like myself, you can always hire a developer on Upwork or Fiverr or wherever to input that code for you. Now, just understand that when you do hire out, you need to pay them a little bit of money to help to let them help you input that code. But once you've input that code, that's a one-off fee that you're paying them uh, to help you generate, you know, even if you're just buying, you, you're just getting one email address out of it, you can easily earn that money back just by having that customer, sending them an email, having them return to buy your other products, okay guys? And um, I have to always give my bootcamp students an advantage. If you are my bootcamp student, you um, will get this opt-in hack code for free. Um, inside of the members area, I will have a step-by-step -step bonus tutorial on how you can input the code, okay? For my bootcamp students, you do not need to hire any developer to help you input this. This will be completely free inside of my bootcamp, inside of the members area, okay? So if you're my bootcamp students, go ahead and watch the tutorial, copy and paste all the code that I have for you for um, this quick hack all right guys and if you're interested in joining my boot camp i have a lot of testimonials of people who went through the program and had a lot of success okay so if you are interested go ahead and check it out at tbootcamp.com that is tbootcamp.com all right guys Alrighty guys, so if you got a lot of value out of this video, please like and subscribe for more content. Um, if you want to learn more about a little bit of, you know, hacks and tricks and tips on how you can just improve your sales, you know, just make little changes can have a big impact and not a lot of people do it and not a lot of people know. So if you're interested, don't forget to stay subscribed to my channel and also, if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.